Hey guys, welcome back to MarkDillon.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you'll click the little subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. So, anywho, let me get on to tonight's question. It's um, a pretty quick and simple one, so I figured I would answer it before I hit the sack. Uh, and it's something I think probably a lot of us can relate to. Uh, from Josh, he says, Mark, would you ever end a friendship because the friend won't pay back money you loaned him? My friend asked me to borrow some money to keep a bill from going into collections. He was supposed to pay me back over a few months, but then hasn't paid anything, and seems to be avoiding me. He still goes out on weekends, and I think that if he can afford that, he can afford to pay me back. Should I confront him or just drop him as a friend? Uh, Alright, Josh. Well, I don't want to say you got what you deserved, because you were obviously trying to help a friend and your heart was in the right place. But you certainly got what you signed up for. I mean, let's be honest here. Should you be surprised that this person has not paid you back? They are in financial trouble, they can't pay their bills, and they're on their way to a collection agency. And you really think this is a credit-worthy person to loan money to. I mean, that's, that's really silly. But people find themselves in that situation all the time. You know, they think they're doing the right thing, they're helping their friend, and of course, it's their friend. The friend is going to pay back. And sadly, that usually doesn't happen. So, um, you know, and by the way, that, that applies regardless of the reason why the person has found themselves in trouble. Whether it be um, their own stupidity and irresponsibility and overspending, or whether they have some reason that really warrants some help, whether it be a medical illness, a layoff, something like that. Regardless of the reason, if they're already in financial trouble, don't be surprised that you don't get paid back. I mean, you're you're adding, you think of it, you're helping the person by adding one more debt to their list of debts, uh, which would be a loan repayment to you. Uh, it's kind of like saying you're going to help your friend get out of the hole by, by telling them dig out the bottom. Um, so the question becomes, how should you help um, if, you're, if you find yourself in that situation? And I would say, simply, uh, if you can afford to give them a gift, simply find the amount that you, you can comfortably give and say, you know, this is as much as I can help you. It's, it's a gift, no strings attached. You don't owe me anything. I hope it helps. You know, I'm just glad I'm in a position that I can do that for you because we're friends. And if you can't afford to give them anything, that also means you can't afford to loan them anything because you may not get, get it back, as you found out. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, Josh, it's kind of ironic that <laughs> to help your, to keep your friend from going to the debt collector, you've actually become the debt collector. So, you know, uh, should you confront him or just drop him as a friend? Well, I certainly not a physical confrontation of any sort, but uh, but yes, I think you could give it one more go and send him a text or call him and just say, hey, look, you know, we're friends. I loaned you this money to be helpful. You haven't paid anything back, and I, you know, I think you're finding ways to afford to go out and do other things. So, you know, what are we going to do about this? And my guess is he'll give you some, you know, bullshit story. And he'll tell you, okay, I'm going to pay you something next week or next month, and you're not going to get anything. So chances are, Josh, you've lost your money, and you've probably lost a friend. Uh, which, by the way, in this case, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Uh, because there is a big difference between can't pay back and won't pay back. You know, if this guy was just barely struggling to keep a roof over his head and food in his belly, uh, or he had gotten laid off and he just doesn't have the money to pay you back, it's still no fun, but I would tell you cut him some slack. If he can find money to go out and drink and party and that kind of stuff, he can certainly afford to pay you back something. Um, so if he's just got this mentality, oh yeah, you know, Josh is my friend, it's no big deal, he can wait, I'll just put him on the back burner. Well, that's reflective of a lot of qualities that I think would cause uh, trouble in different situations in the future. So I wouldn't want a friend like that. So, you know, I give it one more try, give him a call, see if you can work something out. But don't be surprised that you don't get your money back. And in that case, yes, I would probably just drop him. Uh, not because you value the money more than your friend, but the simple, simple fact that he won't make an effort to pay you back shows that he's not a friend to begin with. Um, so there you go. Uh, thank you for the question, Josh. Guys, thanks for tuning in to MarkDillon.com, and don't forget, if you're on YouTube, click the subscribe button. 
Y'all have a great evening.